what is this? I understand what you're saying. This is an embassy of foreign alien species. This place is a little too perfect. You're hiding something. I can't tell the aliens from the animals. I think we just had a diplomatic incident. Ash. Oh, they built themselves quite the lake. Wonder if anyone ever drowned in it. Is that a threat? Because it comes right after being unable to tell Ambassador Kellen and Dean Corlock from animals. Yeah, right. Hello. Hello, everyone. This is Kesu Mirina. And we're playing Mass Effect Legendary Edition for the first time. Beam me up, Scotty. Good timing, Commander. I was just about to bring us into the Citadel. See that taxpayer money at work. Yeah. Americans are really offended when someone actually uses taxpayer money for stuff like healthcare or education. Like, come on. Every first world country has free universal healthcare. And apparently, big ships. Flying through nebulas. This is so pretty. All right. Look at the size of that ship. The Ascension, flagship of the Citadel fleet. Well, size isn't everything. Hmm. Why so touchy, Joker? I'm just saying you need firepower too. Look at that monster. Its main gun could rip through the barriers in any ship in the Alliance fleet. Good thing is on our side, then. Citadel Control, this is SSV Normandy, requesting permission to land. Stand by for clearance, Normandy. It's more like clearance stuff you may begin your background. Approach, transferring you to an Alliance operator. Roger, Alliance Tower, Normandy out. Normandy, this is Alliance Tower. Please proceed to dock 422. I don't know why it lagged suddenly. This place looks so different. Like much more smooth, sleek. And that was a fast taxi service. I should. This is an outrage. The council huh? would step in if the Geth attacked a Turian colony. The Turians don't found colonies on the borders of the Terminus systems. Blaming the victim Humanity much? was well aware of the risks when you went into the Traverse. What about oh. Seren? You can't just ignore a rogue specter. I demand action! You don't get to make demands of a council, Ambassador. Citadel Security is investigating your charges against Seren. We will discuss the CSEC findings at the hearing, not before. This is Sparta. Captain Anderson, I see you brought half your crew with you. Just the ground team from Eden Prime. In case you had any questions. I have the mission reports. I assume they're accurate? They are. I'm Sounds like proud. you convinced the Council to give us an audience. Uh. They were not happy about it. Seren's their top agent. They don't like him being accused of treason. Hmm. I'm a very proud girl. And you're stupid. I'm not gonna sit on my ass just because the Council doesn't want to do anything. They won't stop Saren, I will. Settle mm -hmm. down, Commander. You've already done more than enough to jeopardize your candidacy for the Spectres. Is that the game the mission on Eden Prime was a chance to prove you could get the job done. Instead, Nihilus ended up dead and the beacon was destroyed. Well, That's Saren's fault, not hers. Then hmm. we better hope the CSEC investigation turns up evidence to support our accusations. Otherwise, the Council might use this as an excuse to keep you out of the Spectres. ACAB. Come with me, Captain. I want to go over a few things before the hearing. Shepard, you and the others can meet us at the Citadel Tower, top level. I'll make sure you have clearance to get in. And that's why I hate politicians. Oh, Ash, darling, I think politicians aren't the only people you hate. I can't tell the aliens from the animals. <laughs> Big place. That's what she said. 
Thanks, Caden, for salvaging this... well... If this was possible to salvage it. And... Uh, what else we got? Um... Well, they've built themselves quite the lake. I wonder if anyone ever drowned in it. This is what, like, the, the first things that... It makes you... The second thing. The second... Her first thing was different. Sure is peaceful here. Uh, it was before Lady Space Racist came aboard. Okay, let's just randomly hack a terminal in the embassies that we see because we are like that. Screw the rolls. Align special report. Captain Hendrickson reported some unusual energy readings during a patrol on the Argus Rock cluster. She had particular concerns about the Hydra system, but was recalled before her team could investigate further. No patrols are scheduled for that sector. Do we want to send in a Regan team? One thing I like in these games, like they have women in all positions. You read about Admiral and then it casually says her. Because why not? And nobody ever voices, almost nobody voices surprises at women being in the military or in leadership positions. Like it's just overall a much brighter future than, well, our past was, at least, concerning women's rights. And, uh, yeah. Uh, so what do you think about the embassy, Sash? This place is a little too perfect. Like they're hiding something. This is just a diplomatic welcoming committee why are you being so negative racist i understand what you're saying but these allegations are very serious i can't this is serious my reputation is at stake i spoke with the consort in confidence and her alone and she betrayed that confidence all right I will look into it for you. In the meantime, do not do anything rash. Or say something extremely politically incorrect. Uh, good morning, Ambassador Kaling of the Elcor race and Representative Dean Korlak for the Volus. Uh, this is my team. Uh, I'm Rina Shepard. Uh, a sailor senshi. This is uh, Kaidan Alenko. Uh, he's my second in command. Hey, place. He's bragging a little bit, but uh, let's talk about your side later. Hi. And this is Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams, and she thinks. I can't tell the aliens from the animals. <laughs> We narrowly avoided a diplomatic incident now, if only the keepers could uh, get rid of her body. Um. Hello, Hello there, human. Hi. Sincere apology, but I am here on business and cannot be distracted right now. You seem distressed. Is there something I can do to help? Alarmed response. You overheard that, did you? Mm -hmm. This is all going so wrong. And it is the Asari consort's fault. She's the one who started all this. Huh? Who's this Asari consort? Curious. You have not heard. You must be new to the Citadel. I am. Everyone knows Shatira, the consort. I don't. I cannot speak more about this problem. It is too sensitive. Suffice it to say, she has compromised my authority as a diplomat. But at least she can tell you from an animal. Unlike... Where can I find this Asari consort? She is across the bridge from here. Her offices are easy enough to spot. Good day, human. 
Right, and let's just try to talk ourselves out of this diplomatic accident. I wonder if the aliens are also just as suspicious, disrespectful and racist to humans as Ashley is here. Please greeting. Human, it is always good to see your kind. Nope. I am Ambassador Kalen. Genuine query. Is there something I can do for you this day? Hello. Uh, it's impolite to ask about their speech first, okay? okay? Can we ask about his duties instead? What do you do here? Modestly. <laughs> Oh. I work to bring the problems and the requests of the Elcor groups to the attention of the Council. Good luck! They only oh. give us these positions to keep us quiet. The Council doesn't care about our races. We're ours! Rebuke. Your tone is inappropriate, Dan. This human is not to blame for your malcontent or your misconceived suspicions. Oh, come on. Um... Why do you talk like that? Why do you explain what you're about to say? Our people communicate less through words and more through scent and slight movements. Plainly, we discovered our vocal expression was not enough to convey the feelings of our conversations to other species. Why do you bother, Kaelin? These Earth Clan don't really care about our ways. Remorseful response, Din. You don't truly believe that, and if you do, I am very sorry for you. I wish I could be polite to Ash, as Kaelin is tolerant of Dean's... Uh, bullshit? Uh, okay, so... Tell me more about your species. Uh -huh. Genuine enthusiasm. I delight in telling the history of my people. It is agreeable to share our culture with others. Let's start from the top. And... Tell me about the history and origins of the Elcor. The Elcor were just beginning to explore Council space when the Asari first made contact with us. With their help, we discovered the relay closest to our system, and from there the Citadel. Proudly, Within one lifetime, we established a regular route to the Citadel, and quickly became one of the more active species living on this great station. And still no spot on the console. I'd like to know more about the culture of the Elcor. Frankly, we Elcor prefer the safety and familiarity of our own colonies to the confines of space travel. Our society is built on small, tight-knit groups. Though we are always welcoming to outsiders, our government tends to be very stable. Our people are not very comfortable with sudden changes. So, this is actually what the word conservatism must mean? Like, in the dictionary, you know? Like, he is... Their society is conservative. They're welcoming to strangers, they're not xenophobic. People, if you say that you're a conservative, and that's why you hate outsiders, then you're not conservative. You're just a bigot. Thanks, Ambassador. The catchphrase. Goodbye, Ambassador. Sincere farewell. Good day to you, human. Enjoy your time on the Citadel. Yeah, I should go. And what of you? Mm. Danny DeVito? Earth Clan, you are in the wrong place, I think. You do? Your ambassador is next door in the large office. I noticed. Chastising remark. Don't be so rude, Dan. At least introduce yourself. <sighs> I am Din Corner. Volus Ambassador, is there something I can do for you, Earth Clan? I'm not, not sure. So what you do here? What is it you do here? Yeah. I look out for the best interests of the Volus people. 
no easy task considering how often we are overlooked by the council. Mm. Chastising rebuke, Dan. The council favors your species greatly. You are naive. The Earth Clan will be invited to the council long before our species will. So, while well, he's a bit cranky, the game points it, uh, he is, he has a point, let's just put it bluntly. Why aren't the Elcor or Volus part of the council? All species must prove themselves before they join the council. All but the Earth clans, it would seem. Hmm. Dismissive. Ignore the Volus Ambassador, human. He is incorrect in his assessment. Really? How long have we been waiting? How long do you think we'll continue to wait? Bah! This talk is wasted on the humans. So, uh, while his sentiment and the reason for him to be worried is correct, uh, his, uh, him blaming humans for the other council members mistreating Volus is wrong. Like, we don't get preferential treatment either, or either. I read my English. So... What is this place? <gasps> you the are troll. the embassy for the Volus and the Elcor. We figured that out! The ambassador is next door. Yes, in yes, his own yes. Office. I shouldn't have started with this. In this shared space, I aid my fellow Volus when I'm not being interrupted. Well, ha I will keep interrupting you. So, what's your fucking problem? You seem to have a bit of a chip on your shoulder, Din. Bit. You humans are new to the Citadel, and yet the Council has granted you great favor. <sighs> Chastising rebuke, Din. Your species has always been granted many concessions. Volus territory has expanded tenfold since coming to the Citadel. <laughs> Details. We oh. still have no real say in the decisions that affect Citadel space. The Citadel Council has the problem, the same one as UN uh, Security Council. United Nations has like all the people, kind of like the uh, council space, all recognized countries, and some partial recognized. But the Security Council has like less than a dozen permanent members, including several countries with horrible track record, uh, track record of uh, rights abuses like Russia and China and the rest are like temporary so some animals are more equal than others which is the same thing with Asari, Salarians and Turians so let's say tell me about the Danny DeVito race see I'm not racist I'm not comparing them to animals I'm comparing them to a successful actor I'd like to know more about the Volus I'm sure our history and culture would bore you, Earth Clan. Go on! Make my day. Actually, I would like to know more about your history. My people came to the Citadel shortly after the Asari and Salarians had discovered it. We were instrumental in establishing a standardized galactic economy. However, despite our long association with the Citadel and our many contributions to galactic society, we still do not hold a seat on the Council. Like, if you ask me, I think Russia and China should be booted from UN Security Council and other countries let in. Uh, okay, so... Tell me about Volus culture. We are tribal by nature, but our ways are not violent. We barter and trade our lands and tribe members in order to increase status. Larger tribes often engulf smaller ones and eventually split again. Our society is very malleable, and our government is always shifting and changing. Since we're not physically adept, we trade our services for protection. 
So his society is less conservative and more adaptable to new stuff, yet he's obviously xenophobic. Which is a basically saying racist, okay? Goodbye, Ambassador. And yes, yes. Good day, Earth Clan. We leveled up after learning the history of the Volus. Amazing. And yeah, people were saying that Ash only was programmed to say that phrase she says near the keepers. Uh, these things. Hello, little fella. Firstly, this doesn't doesn't change a thing. She says what she says. Just because she confuses keepers for animals doesn't make it more acceptable to confuse Volus and Elcor. Or at least not shutting up about it. And then, uh, second thing, where's Kai? Aiden. She just shrugged. I think we lost him. Uh, is there a PA system so we can call... Okay. I wanted to call for... For a weird guy who bumps into walls <laughs> to come and meet us at the nearest whatever. So, yeah. The thing is, there is no check for Ashley to be near the keepers. It's not like a special phrase. It's generic lines she always says on the... Uh, on, the count, uh, on the citadel presidium. So... Yeah, you can't really claim that that it's a bug or it's about the keepers because she just yaps on. Oh, they built themselves quite the lake. Wonder if anyone ever drowned in it. For example, this phrase doesn't need you to be near the lake. Bait guide. I think I'll talk with the receptionist first. Good day, Commander. The human ambassador is up the stairs, first room on the right. You know my rank. You know who I am? Yes, I receive reports on all newly arrived dignitaries and notable people. I'm notable! Yay! So... What is this place? This is the Presidium. More specifically, you are at the Citadel Embassies. If you have more questions, please access Savina. I am proud how I meet dimples on her face look there's a shadow in the corners below her mouth i managed to do it i have dimples too so that's, i think that's important what's that oh avina is the virtual guide for the citadel feel free to access the terminal yourself okay personal questions what color is your underwear what's your name what do you do here? Oh, My that name kind. My is I'm the administrative assistant for the embassies. And now we're acting offended that she didn't tell us her life story. And give us a side quest. The process. You seem to be distracted. Yep. The embassies are the hub of all Citadel politics. <laughs> when you represent trillions of citizens, it tends to get a little busy. Stop annoying the lady, Shepard. I should be going now. Have a pleasant day. Oh, nice. She learned another case. It's like... Um, uh, to the Tower Drive. That's where we need to go. And we will, right after we talk with the... Uh, with Avina. Greetings, and welcome to the Presidium. My name is Avina, and I am pleased to be your virtual guide throughout this level of the Citadel Space Station. So yeah, they updated her model like the others. What I don't know though is whether they uh, use the same model in all three games. Because the third game's model, it had a nipples outline and a camel toe. I don't know why they made her like that. Are, are you real? So are you a person or a program? I am a what? fully interactive virtual intelligence. Program to provide spontaneous guidance at predetermined locations of interest throughout this level of the Citadel. I may also be contacted through any of the Presidium VI terminals, should you require assistance. 
That's very specific. Give me the tour. You are standing at Presidium Tourism Terminal 1. On either side of this lobby are the embassies of the various Citadel races, along with CSEC headquarters. On the far end of this level, you can see the Citadel Tower, where the Council meets regularly to discuss matters of interstellar importance. Okay, we need... <clears throat> this, these are the embassies, right? Tell me about the embassies. Each species in Citadel space important enough to be consulted on matters of galactic politics maintains an embassy on the Presidium. But some are more important than others. The Volus were the first non-council species to be granted an embassy, roughly 2,384 galactic standard years ago. Still As no Citadel seat. space has expanded, more embassies have been added. The most recently added embassy belongs to your own species, humanity. It was added 19 galactic standard years ago, despite some rather vocal opposition. Okay, you got me interested. Why were people trying to keep my species out? Some species felt humanity was given preferential treatment. It often takes a century or more before a new species is granted an embassy. The Council Whoops. gave a great deal of thought to this matter. In the end, they decided humanity's impact on Citadel space was significant enough to warrant an embassy. Okay. Do you agree with their decision? I am not programmed to make that kind of qualified judgment. My code is limited to information and simple interaction simulations. The, the funniest part is trolling Athena by asking her complicated questions. And the council, the citadel, the government basically not having answers and just avoiding all the challenging stuff. I'll show you some. Just, it'll just click on every option and it will appear. So. How come the Volus were the first species given an embassy? In the early years following the formation of the council, the Volus were, apart from the Asari and Salarians, the most populous and widespread species in citadel space. They established many new colonies and trading outposts, and they petitioned the Council for a greater role in determining interstellar policy. In recognition of their work to expand interstellar trade and establish a standardized galactic economy, the Volus were granted an embassy here on the Citadel. Why weren't they made a Council race? Uh huh. The Council races have extensive responsibilities. They must provide personnel and ships for the Citadel fleets. They often provide economic aid in times of disaster. It would be unfair to demand such an enormous burden of a species unable to meet these obligations. The embassies allow lesser species to have a voice on the Citadel. Heard just what she said? A long, politically correct explanation why it would be a burden and they will need that and then outright calling them lesser races. It's like a Freudian slip. <laughs> Fuck off! That's pretty damn arrogant. Uh. I apologize if my personality has offended you. Please submit all formal complaints in writing to the Citadel Tourist and Visitor Board. <laughs> okay, so we don't need to know everything. Let's ask about the Council first, because we need to meet them. What can you tell me about the Citadel Council? Originally, the Council consisted of representatives from the Asari and Salarians, the two dominant species in Citadel space. Roughly 1,304 galactic standard years ago, Turians were invited to join the Council in recognition of the role they played during the Krogan Rebellion. Uh -huh. Since then, the three Council races have worked together to ensure the peaceful coexistence of the galactic community, while preserving individual autonomy for each species. We're so equal, tolerant, and uh, peaceful coexisting, that we only elevated a race, a third race, to the council status after they made a genocide of another race, you know? Because the Krogan rebellions, we'll hear about them later. They were sterilized, basically, as a result. It can't be as simple as that. There must uh -huh. be problems somewhere in the system. I am not programmed to make that kind of qualified judgment. My code is limited to information and simple interaction simulations. Okay, then let's ask about uh, the C-Sec inspector. That should be faster. I want to know more about Citadel security. 
Citadel security serves as law enforcement for all regions of the Citadel, though the majority of officers serve in the wards. Executor Palin, a Turian, is the current head of CSEC, but individuals from virtually every species across Citadel space serve as officers beneath him. If you wish to learn more, Executor Palin's office is located in the CSEC headquarters just across the lobby. Not relevant to us now, but we will return to it later. Uh... Do you know anything about Spectres? The term Spectre is derived from the branch of Special Tactics and Reconnaissance. Is it Each from Bond Spectre Mavis? agent is handpicked by the Council. Their yeah. primary role is preserving galactic stability and resolving volatile situations that cannot be handled through normal political channels. In this, this role, nation. they are granted extraterritorial rights and jurisdictions. Spectres answer to no law or authority except the Council itself. I'm not programmed to render the judgment on whether it's blah blah blah. I should go. Goodbye. Goodbye, and thank you for using Avena. Please enjoy your visit to the Citadel. Uh, let's look at the important parts. <laughs> no, seriously, I want to look how much they went with a kind of weirdly needless sexual detail, but on the other hand, I mean, Nothing against human anatomy, but she's not human, so... Well, or Asari anatomy, whatever. There was no need to add sexual characteristics on her. Uh, at all. But, I mean, if they had boobs, might as well add them whole. Because, like, there's the thing with... Uh, being uh, paranoid of uh, the, the female nipples that some uh well mostly in america people have you can show every nipple as long as it's not attached to a woman discriminatory much okay we don't go anywhere we just i don't remember if you need to activate those but an ethical district of citadel tower we don't need to look that's a stage of a big turtle Damn it. Please. When we will be meeting the council. Ash, just shut up. I can't tell the aliens from the animals. Sh this! Please shut up about that! Big place. You can tell, Caden. So what animal do you think this mister is? Hey, mister? Ashley Williams here. She thinks you look like an animal. Have anything to say? Whatever. Hey, lady? The blue one? The, the, the big titty god girl? Friend? She thinks you look like an alien. No, an animal. What kinda? And... And you? You also? Hey, Ash, can you explain to them what makes you think like that? Uh, so... Okay. We can, we, we can sprint, yeah. So there's a big statue. But from the back, like, I admit, it does look like a turtle, so... I guess that makes me as bad as Ashley. To the embassies and... Figure everything out. Oh yeah, let's just, uh, go with the shotgun. Yeah, this is, these are get the trophy weapons we got. Uh, so I should get a pulse rifle for shotgun, and I get a um, machine gun and sniper. And I just think they're neat. Okay. 
Citadel Tower. I think that's what we, we need to go. And... Uh, and yeah, the specific... So, yeah, this is what... This is her dialogue about the keepers. Not, I can't tell aliens from the animals. Calling keeper a, a bug thing. That's the trigger, so... No, it's not a bug. It works as intended. She said, do not disturb the keepers, okay? Please do not disturb the keepers. Please do not disturb the keepers. <laughs> what are they? We'll ask that later. Right now, we need to... She just grew from nothing. The council isn't going to ask me any questions, are they? I doubt it. We've made our reports. Now we just have to trust Ambassador Udina. No, we don't, sir. That's a view. Oh, 